please support Matt's movie reviews on Patreon. Get access to exclusive content, request movie reviews and top 10 lists, and help support my work. Please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Hi, my name is Matthew Perkovich from Matt's Movie Reviews, and this is my review of The Last Voyage of the Demeter. It's been 120 years since the publication of Bram Stoker's Dracula, and the bloodthirsty count still lives on as a prominent force in pop culture. The latest movie to feature Dracula is The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Directed by Andre Overdor, the film is based on a short segment in Stoker's book in which a ship named the Demeter transports 50 crates of earth from Transylvania to London as Dracula picks off the crew one at a time. Despite its simple premise and well-known conclusion, The Last Voyage of the Demeter works as an engrossing vampire horror movie, with occasional scenes of shocking violence effectively utilised when things get a little too placid. At 118 minutes, further editing would have made a difference in ratcheting up the paranoia and tension. Overdor's description of The Last Voyage of the Demeter as alien on a boat in 1867 is spot on with the film featuring a similar structure of a mysterious monster striking from the darkness against a crew of grunt seamen of varied European stock, with Liam Cunningham and David Dasmachian delivering the most memorable performances. The film's cinematography captures the dense darkness from which the Dracula monster slivers and feeds, while the production design is also aces, with a Demeter itself a fine vessel of the damned that lives and breathes with its creaks and bumps. What the last voyage of the Demeter lacks is a charismatic lead protagonist, with Corey Hawkins a serviceable yet at times dull presence that struggles to keep proceedings lively during the scenes of calm before the crimson storm. Interestingly, Hawkinson's character, an educated and trained doctor and scientist, comes across as an updated version of the classic Van Helsing archetype who leans on science to fight against an ancient evil. In a further embrace of the science, Overdor, disappointedly, makes moot the power of Christianity as the force of good against the demons of darkness, with scenes of characters using the crucifix as a weapon met with mocking glee by the Dracula monster. It is, of course, the Dracula itself who is the star of the last voyage of the Demeter. Used in sparing Jaws-like fashion, this latest version of an immortal monster hits all the right marks as a demonic, razor-toothed man bat creature of the night, who was removed of the classic romantic seduction characteristics in favour of pure primal bloodlust and savagery. In a post-Twilight world where the vampire has become a thing of goofy soap opera theatrics, it is good to see the last voyage of the Demeter bring the fear back into the fangs. Thank you for watching the Matt's Movie Reviews channel. Please subscribe for more reviews, podcast interviews, and exclusive content. Also, if you would like to request a review and support my work, please join my Patreon via the link in the description below.